Okay, so this is a card I told you to pick up at eight dollars in my one of my videos. So if you guys go check that video out, it all those cards did extremely well except for the number one five pick, and I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. But uh, overall, this card did very very well. It is now a fourteen dollar card, maybe, um, but. You could have picked up as many of them as you wanted for $8 once upon a time. It still has room to grow. Uh, you're going to see a trend in the cards we're going to talk about this week. And the trend is uh, very obvious. It's stuff that cannot possibly be reprinted in Modern Masters 2015. The perception, so you have to understand it's perception versus actual fact. And a lot of times the marketplace, not just the magic marketplace, but regular marketplaces are the perception of what a card is worth sometimes overtakes what it actually is worth. Um, this card, in my opinion, is printed in a set that was not open very much. The set was absolutely awesome. I loved uh, Averson Restored. It was one of my favorite sets of all time. And this particular card was very good in it, but it has kind of a tribal element to it, which makes it harder to reprint. And we know it's not going to be a Modern Masters 2015. It's because it's from Averson Restored. So when people are trying to pick safe cards, this is a very, very safe card. Now, that being said, its price is not going to spike as much as, you know, a Supreme Verdict, Abrupt Decay, or even the Shocklands. But it is a extremely safe place, especially in foils, to put your extra trade value in. So a lot of times when I'm trading, I pretty much just want to store it in a place where it's safe, right? Um, I'm not looking to actually make like a money from it. I'm just looking so it doesn't go down in price. Well, this is one of the safest. Why is it safer than Abrupt Decay, Supreme Verdict? It's because it's a land. But why is it safer than the Shocklands? Because people... You know, when the Shocklands get over $20, $25, people are going to be like, oh, we should reprint them. And, you know, I totally agreed. You know, if it goes over $20, we should, re we should reprint them in some capacity. Um, this card, no one's really going to say reprint this card. Um, it's such a weird card, and it only kind of made sense in a tribal theme. And now that Corset is going to be going, I mean, you could reprint this in Corset, and that would be... That would be a good place to put it if corset the next last corset has a tribal theme which it should to honor the game magic but right now this card is extremely safe um there's you know there's really there's less upside than some of the other cards we're going to go over but there's also less downside uh this card is very difficult to reprint in my opinion